Hello and welcome to another Inside Story here at Rare, where today we're talking all about the arena. And the arena launched as part of the anniversary update recently. So first of all, can we start off by talking about what was the overall vision for the arena? So the arena was all about bringing competition on demand to Sea of Thieves. So obviously you have competition, you have ship fighting and battling in adventure, but it's kind of at the mercy of whether you come across other ships or not. So we wanted to kind of wrap up all that's great about that experience into an on-demand kind of high octane 24 minute competition. And having these short play sessions allows us to go to events with Arena. Uh, what kind of events and what have we done since the launch? Well obviously we did the um, Battle for LA, didn't yes. we? Um, uh, who won that again? I can't remember. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but um, but that was like that was our first kind of toe in the in the water, um, so to speak. With GuardianCon, anyone was able to come along and join together, and we saw crews that didn't know each other joining up, like meeting friends. We had like twos and twos that we put together, and some really awesome crews there, and everybody was able to progress through the tournament and like take on the the final. That led to a really exciting final in that one, and then recently we've had. Twitch rivals. We did, yeah, which was really cool, right? It's great to be able to watch it and to celebrate like what Arena is now, but it also, as I said, it gives us so many learnings for how we can grow it in the future. And taking those learnings and, and seeing what we've got planned for the near term future, what are some of the things that people can expect? Well, like what we always believed and what we've seen from kind of internal playtests, right, is that like if we have a full set of crews and they're all pretty evenly matched, the Arena really sings, right? And but out in the wild, we don't always see that, right? And so we've been looking at that, taking feedback and um, and applying that to kind of the plans we have moving yeah, forward. Yeah, it's about right? trying to get it as close to that experience as possible. So one of the things we're looking at is experience-based uh, matching. So you can still play with whoever you want, but it will look at your kind of collective experience and then look to try and match you with people of similar experience. So if you're very experienced, you get matched with more experienced players. If you're very new, you get more likely to get matched with newer players. And as Joe said, having that full five ships in there is the best experience. So we're looking at ways to add penalty for quitting. And the, this is all coming kind of in the near term, right? And what, what other Im improvements can we expect? Yeah. So obviously improvements around combat, something we've talked about for a while. And the you know, Sea of Thieves as a whole in terms of its combat experience is pretty complex because not only is it you know, network multiplayer, but it's also on moving big moving objects of, of ships and then it's underwater and the kind of difference in movement there. So you've got movement in so many different cases and places that it, it it's just a really complex system, right? To predict where people are going, where they're going to be next over the network and stuff. So we've been working on this, making some tweaks for a while. We've had some stuff in Insiders. Uh, there were there were some bugs kind of reported with that, which we've been fixing, but we're but we're fairly close to rolling that out, and we we expect to see a significant improvement, especially with the kind of projectile um, kind of gunplay. That's a big improvement to the overall experience. Yeah. So another cool thing we're adding is the ability for players to be able to mute individual players on other crews, so you have that real fine control over who you can hear and who you can't, and that social experience. For anyone streaming Sea of Thieves, we're giving them the option to replace the gamer tags of themselves and everyone else so as you're watching them play all of the gamer tags will be replaced by Ruby splash tail and things like that. And that'll feed into the text chat and stuff Everywhere, as well. yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So you won't be able to identify a, um, a streamer or anybody that they're in the session with via the gamer tags. Yeah, and obviously like we've talked about already that we're adding the option for that kind of that crossplay preference. Mm -hmm. So, you know, if you're playing on console with a controller, you'll be able to to set the preference to that's who you'll be matched with. Okay, so that stuff is in the near term, right? The next couple of updates. But yeah. what are we looking at long term for the arena? Yeah. So one of the things that we've been experimenting for a little while with and testing stuff with insiders and doing it in playtests is just how we bring different ship types into this. So we're, we're running some tests. We've been, like I said, running tests and insiders. We had a really good play session like last week with all sloops together. Right? Super exciting. Yeah, like, really yeah. cool. It's, it plays really differently just because of the maneuverability and speed of them. So it's a real different experience. So there's, you know, and we, we know people want kind of different options, different ways to play. So, yeah. so that's one of the things we're testing. I think it's ultimately about giving everybody that wants to play Arena in the way that they want to play it, giving them that option. I guess a bit more longer term, uh, we're looking at um, ways to bring in structured rewards uh, in kind of a cyclical reward uh, program for Arena. That means there's always reasons to come back, there's always reasons to engage. That rewards 
everybody for playing the arena, no matter what your skill level is. But if you do have a lot of skill and you are consistently skillful, there'll be ways that you'll get rewarded specifically as well. Yeah, and we're not quite ready to talk about the details of that because we're yeah. still planning it out, implementing it, changing stuff on a changing weekly basis. Names. If I look at, yeah, changing <laughs> the names or what, yeah. <laughs> but, um, but we are, we're in that kind of thing. We're not quite ready to talk about it, but yeah. as we get closer and we get it a bit closer to implementation, we'll, we'll let people know. So one of the other things that has become really apparent, like the more we play, but also the more we watch, right? And Twitch Rivals was really good for this, that we got to watch like six hours a day of people playing and like when sessions are really close and you've got really easy match crews and stuff it's um and you don't really know for sure until like the final minute or the final 10 seconds or something like who's who's gonna win like those are so great and so they're great to play in they're great yeah. to watch the reverse of that is when one crew gets a huge lead kind of early on or even like midway through and it becomes really obvious that they're going to win and the others don't have a chance and so we're looking at um, how do we make each session have as much chance of being kind of closer, get more, like crews have more of a chance kind of through it, they don't yeah, feel it's, like it's they're out of it. Keeping crews in the competition, keeping you feeling like you've, you've got a chance, you've, you've got an option, you don't feel like it's a done deal, it's yeah. not over till it's over. It's not about making people who are less skillful, like better than people who are skillful, it's just about giving everyone an even opportunity, but the people who are good are always going to take advantage of those opportunities. Yeah, and so we're looking at scoring, we're looking at like, you know, like scoring, balancing changes, but also um, additional ways to score and stuff. So, yeah, additional yeah. ways to get silver, like yeah. throughout a, a contest. Yeah. yeah. Sweet. Well, I know this is just the beginning of our journey with Arena, the same as it was when we started Adventure a year and a bit ago. Um, so I know I'm super excited to see all these features land, and I hope you enjoyed the video today. And remember to like, subscribe on the YouTube channel, and we'll see you very soon. Cheers. Oh, click that little shit as well. <laughs> <laughs> Ha ha ha! Thank you very much for watching. Remember, if you liked what you saw, then there's a wealth of content already on our channel and there's lots more to come. So subscribe and click that little ship's bell for all those notifications. Cheers. <laughs>